We dive right in with the rat, Ron Torno. Out of Pittsburgh, the rat racing machine over on the left side, and John Hall. John, who is driving one of the uh, alligator bikes with the folks at Brakes, which is Doug Herbert's driving school, emblazoned on the side of it. I know you are a big believer in the Brakes oh, program. I'm, big, I'm a big fan of John's. I mean, he's doing this whole thing out of his own pocket to do to support Brakes, so it's really great that he's doing that, and uh, I think anybody that would do that is definitely a good guy, and I really hand it to John for that. If you're not familiar with Brakes, if you have a teen driver, you need to look into it. You can find it online, put on the brakes.org. Sending your driver through this costs you nothing. And it's not a class that's going to teach your driver, you know, how to get their license, how to parallel park. It's going to teach them how to survive out there on the road. It's, uh, again, it's free to send a driver to, but check it out. Put on the brakes.org. Doug Herbert had a terrible reason to start it, but he's done a lot of good with it since then. Absolutely, Alan. No doubt about that. And it's a great program, and tons and tons of kids go through it every year. 693 for Ron Torno. So the rat's going to go to the top here early on at 195 miles an hour. John Hall goes 704 to 195. He gave up a ton, a ton on the starting line, the first 60 feet, but it uh, hustled pretty good down the back out there. Yeah, not too bad. I actually left the starting line pretty decent, and uh, actually 693 is not a bad run for the first run out of the box. No, Ron Torno definitely looking good out there. John Hall was 400s behind him at this end, and that's momentum that's just tough to get back. Five qualifying runs coming in here to the Dodge Power Brokers U.S. Nationals. Does that change the approach a little bit from a team standpoint?